Therese ain't playing. Drink in the table. Chinsea. Actually, stop saying underlay. Yeah, you're not gonna have your friends back like that? Why you got a zip in there? This is what happens when people ain't got jobs. Look at Robin making her key. I really do like Wendy. Thank you, Andy Cohen. Thank you, Karen Hugo. They got a big booty, but no hip. It wasn't one line. These ladies are in their typical attire. Why'd you have to be so mean? Mia is in a solid color. You're the most disgusting human being. Giselle is in something we don't like. You didn't say I'm done. You said stop. This is no type work. You're in a whole different person this season. I'm not mature enough for that. You trying, Mia. The root of all of these issues is jealousy. What up, Potomac fam? And welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo with Love. With me, your girl Donna Rizzo, AKA Rizzo, as we are here to recap the Real Housewives of Potomac Season 7, episode 14. Y'all, last episode, I don't know why I got these two little polka dots. Y'all, last episode was honestly the redemption episode. I know I keep saying this, but this season has not been amazing, but last episode actually made up for it. So thank you, Andy Cohen. Thank you, Karen Hugo. Who else worth the drama? Not Sharice, because I don't really understand why they fighting. But listen, I'm so excited to see how that argument actually plays out because... Sharice ain't say nothing about her mama. Karen is just still grieving. I don't know how many times I can say this. Anytime anyone mentions her mother or her father, she just can't bear it. And she lashes out or she cries. Totally understandable, y'all. She lost both her parents in a very short time period. And she's older, her husband's older. I get it. But look, before we even get into this, I forgot to say welcome to the new folks. If this is your first time here, I am your girl Rizzo. You may have seen me on Lifetime, One Decision Day Dish, Journey So Far, Mid-Season, Kickoff, all of that if you're a Married at First Sight fan. If you're not a Married at First Sight fan, you may have seen me on my other recaps on From Rizzo with Love, where I recap Insecure, Real Housewives of Potomac, Avi, Rap Shit, Big Brother, Love is Blind, can't think of what else I did, but if you love reality TV, if you love black scripted TV, and if you don't like greasy hair like I don't, meaning this is gonna be the last time I'll be here, stick with me. If this is your first time, also make sure you stick with me through the end of the episode, this recap. Let me know what you thought about the episode. Let me know what you thought about this recap. Um, let me know what you wanna see more of and stick around because I do ask a question at the end that I want you guys to engage with in the comments. This community is growing small and mighty, but just like my Mavs fam, I believe that we can get there. I will be expanding to new shows. Y'all, Rap has already started filming season two. Are we excited? We're excited. Also, I'm still catching up on sisters. I'm so far behind, it's a lot. All right, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this Real Housewives of Potomac season seven, episode 14, shakeups and makeups. Let's go. Are we about to get Robin's wedding in this episode? No, that's how they're gonna, that's how they're gonna end the season, watch. It has to be something on a high. We gotta see Robin get married. Something has to happen, right? Yo, Sharice ain't playing. You know what's so funny? This is the second fight that Candace is trying to break up. Candace? She didn't even bring her up. Karen, what you talking about? Disrespect her. Robin is me, y'all. Robin's still over there with her fork. She said, I'm gonna eat. You questioned if she was genuine at the funeral? What would be her motive? Like, what else would she be doing it for? She said Sharice and I weren't friends and she wasn't invited to the funeral. First of all, do people really get like formal invites? Also, y'all were on the show together. So you were a cast member. If a cast member's parent passed, she would come to the funeral to support. Why do you think it's not genuine? You think she's trying to get on a show? She made it a point to show you that she was at the funeral because she wanted to show you her support. This is not her bringing it up for a team. This is crazy. Uh, I wrestle. She brought it up on TV for sure. Hmm. I think that was her way of just saying like, yo, I am a friend of you. But yeah, you did bring it up. I don't know. Oh, y'all, Sharice got it. First of all, a bad wig. But Sharice got it. This is her first confessional interview look. No, it's not. No, it's not. Sharice, why you got a zipper in there? Sharice, you went there to be supportive because nobody else was there? You didn't know that nobody else would be there. Look at Robin. Look at Robin making her keep. She drove to bumblefuck Surrey County to go to your mom's funeral and no one else did. Shaking the table. They had to get you out of rehab. Surrey, she be messy. Not Karen be so popular that she can't even go to Safeway without nobody finding out. You a fucking American? You can't touch me. Jacqueline, you going about this the right way. I don't need to bring everybody else in this group in it because y'all don't know me, I don't know y'all. I need to have this conversation with my friend. Except Giselle don't agree. She wants you to do it on TV. Where do they go next? Where do you go from here? To bed? I keep seeing that sign and I think, Shinsea. I really love when the girls are good. Like I love Candace 
and Ashley. I really do. Okay, Jacqueline and Mia gonna have this conversation separately. Yeah. Mia, because you're a spoiled brat. I said you ain't got no friends, and I said you f married men. What did I say that was a lie? <laughs> Mia, we all know that is true. What she's trying to do is say like, you are my friend. So let's denounce this on national television so people think it's not true, even though we all know it's true. But Mia, you're not gonna have your friends back like that? Not that's disgusting that you would say that. <laughs> Come on, Mia. He was married. I said that before. I owned it. You sold your soul. Jacqueline, why are you mad at her? Well, I guess. You know what? That's a problem. Friends, we're not supposed to tell each other's truth to the world like this because Mia slept with a married man, but she became the main. Jacqueline is apparently only the side joint. That's the problem. Ooh, plural. Jacqueline, not that beard. How you mad at her? You're the most disgusting human being on this planet. I've never done that. What's this music again? Y'all are this indigenous music, y'all. So it's Jacqueline's eating breakfast by herself and Karen are eating breakfast by herself. The ones who got the most hype. Ashley love a squat. Ashley, were you a gymnast? No. She wants to do something fun. Y'all need to come out. Ashley and Candace are built the same where they got a big booty but no hips. Y'all be working out. Just the gym. See, this is weird because Jacqueline is on this trip as Mia's friend. She's not on this trip as a friend of the group. For her to be like, Mia, we're done and still come out to events, I'm like, what are you doing here? Why does the fact that she's talking about her businesses and how many she has mean you can't trust her? There's something else there. I know you hot Ashley, cause I know what under the boob sweat looks like and that's it. I just don't understand how that is Karen's way of saying, I can't trust you. Kundalini. This is what happens when people ain't got jobs and they just got free time. She just got kids, but like, Ashley needs something to do. So she doing Kundalini, she doing the Chakra Sherman Swarma guy, TikToks. You know how long it takes to study all those TikToks? Y'all, it's hot as out there, do you see how sweaty and red they are? Jacqueline, why you got pants on? Ashley, what the f is this? Oh, Sharice and Robin, you're here. Sharice done. Sharice was done being that bougie, nice, like, oh, my champagne and this, that, and the other. She like, nah, f her. Sharice bout it. She got up on that table and she said, Fuck. Not Wendy having to come to the rescue of Mia's friend. Look at this. Now we have a wedding date and we ain't telling y'all. She said, y'all not my real friends. Sorry. I don't know what has gotten into Karen this season, but I love her. Ashley, stop saying underlay. Health, love, and a lot else. money, and a lot else. Ashley was trying to Oh, a lot chest. else. Jacqueline, get in the water, you won't get mint. It's so clear. Y'all going to get lunch in the jungle. They just gonna be around there even more. Why are they showing that maggot again, though? I was about to say, who doesn't eat chicken? Like, she's talking sh about the dirty bird, but I forgot she was allergic to chicken, right? I just said, I want some sun. That's the only thing I'm getting. <laughs> Interesting that Jacqueline and me are sitting next to each other. Karen said, let me get this heat off for me. Y'all bringing this Candace thing and Chris thing up again? It's dead, y'all. Candace, I love that. Ashley, you have had such a toxic relationship that you think everybody needs to know what a bitch is talking about what she's doing. And Candace is like, I hope that you would not feel the need to do that. You're just so used to doing it because you came out of this toxic relationship. But like, that's not something that everybody needs and should need and want. You don't gotta entertain every bitch. Cause I don't need to know that. Cause I know my man. Come on. I receive that. It's what you should say. Candace is like bullshit, but okay. I brought Deborah. It wasn't intended to be harmful. I was. I wanted you to talk to the woman who was talking shit and saying that your husband approached her. She just happened to be my friend now. I'm with Ashley. She said, yes, I can truly say I'm harboring some resentment towards you because you were a piece of shit in a lot of difficult moments. The cheating, when she had a miscarriage, saying that she didn't have that miscarriage, calling Michael gay, saying that he's cheating on her all the time, saying that she only with him because of his money, calling him a granddaddy, saying that he gropes people, he's sexually assault. Like, when Ashley was down, Candace made sure to kick her, so making sure she stayed down. This is a no type work. See, this is a miscarriage thing. I can love Mia, Ashley, and Candace together, y'all. I said that. I really do like Wendy. I hear that, but like, how I'ma move forward with you if you haven't apologized for bullshit that you know was bullshit that you said to me in the past. I'm just supposed to skip over that and start anew? I'm not, is that my fault? I'm not mature enough for that. Sharice over there pissed. She like the nerve of this mother to be making amends and getting peace with other people when me and her ain't got it. Candace said, I'm so proud of you for sticking up for yourself. So now Sharice said, when my dad died, she sent me a text that was like one line. 
I did see the text from Karen. I'm gonna post it there. It wasn't one line. But you also didn't go to my father's funeral. So her mom is watching the kids. Not their dad. Don't know. Shinseya. Actually, we like your cut. Oh, everybody, I really. Jackie, what you wearing? These ladies are in their typical attire. Mia is in a solid color. Giselle is in something we don't like. Robin, I say we really like her outfits this season. A little two-piece short number. She's not a very much a uh, skirt or dress girl. Really enjoy that. Candace always has some prints. Sharice always got a, a super print, a floral or just an older print. So if Karen got white on. I don't know if she want a wedding or need a wedding because she already got married to this man. Also, I be feeling weird too. What if I'm 40 and get married, engaged? Should I be having a whole wedding? 40. Yeah. She gonna tell us a day. Wait, I saw Robin go to this wedding. And yo, I was looking up. I had a wedding in Jamaica as well. And you know, I clicked on the location and I was like, let me see. Is there grass? Like, so I know what kind of shoes to wear. Is there grass? Is there a dance floor? Is it inside? Is it outside? And I saw Robin went to a wedding. And I saw her. So she got married at the same location I had our, where we had our friend's wedding. Okay. Karen, why are you so bad? Robin, like, I just don't want in my face, but I feel like Robin needs a good stripper to turn it upside down. Cause one ain't doing that. She said chicken tinga. You know that's that's what I be ordering. I love a good little, little chipotle hot number. Karen and Sharice, yes. Why it's not? the third time, the fourth time this episode we don't flash back to the table. I think that's what I'm gonna name this episode. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> also, how you dare you tell me that my enemy is the queen of my city? Get you didn't say I'm done. You said stop. Facts. Your behavior last night was extremely contradictory to the person that you portrayed. This grown dom. You hit the table. You got up. You had the f yous. I'll tell you, Karen, a whole different person this season. Ray gonna be upset. She can't talk about grief. You gotta respect that. Is it because I'm from New York that I really like that that black outfit that Robin has on? That's it, right? Sharice put this group together, that's right, and she's off the show. Yeah. Oh, She said, you need to thank God that you was at my table, sis, because the only reason you're here is because of me. Don't tell me how I'm feeling. Robin. Robin said, one day people gonna see you for who you are. And Karen said, they see me now. She said, yeah, a bullshitter. Robin, Robin, Robin. Robin woke up. Who talked to Robin and told her she had to do this season right? Look at Sharice with a smirk. Robin's accent is coming out heavy. Oh, but I get this. She's saying she just doesn't want Sharice around because she is more grand dame, more the socialite, more the queen of Potomac than Karen is. And because of that, she doesn't want another person. She doesn't want more competition. Ooh! She was removed from the group chat. I thought Candace was saying some against Karen. That's an excellent point. She was talking about the Wendy and Mia thing. Thank you for bringing this back up because I still don't like how everybody just thought it was all cool and now it's over the Wendy and Mia sh do you know the definition of assault? Yes, I do. Technically, we really want to get into the details of assault, y'all. Assault is intending to cause harm. So you ain't have to land. That's assault. It's coming. Not defamation of character. How you gonna be a friend to me and you just met me? You don't even know how to be a friend to girl you were best friends with, sisters with for the last 30 years. Woo! Checkmate. Checkmate. That's a good point. Wendy said, I said y'all was sleeping with men and women. You told me you pick out women for your husband to sleep with. How do you know that when I say y'all are sleeping with men and women, I'm not talking about you sleeping with other men? Wendy, you trying, you trying, man. You trying to get it to make it seem like she got issues with gay people. We on to you. See, and now Gisela's getting in talking about, oh, how could she say it's not the truth? Wendy made perfect sense. Y'all understood this. You just want to be against her. I mean, let me not judge because- You can't even, why couldn't you be this good for the last couple seasons? Cause you fucking funny. Why couldn't you be this good? Why'd you have to be so mean? Oh, she said I got her. Wendy, don't don't take the bait. She said she's so pressed over my life. Y'all, I said to my homegirl, Damia, the root of all of these issues is jealousy. Everybody wants to be the head in charge of this group. Giselle is upset that Mia came along, that Wendy came along. Giselle and Robin, you know, because they're a pair. Karen is upset that Sharice is the main HBIC who set this group up. Mia is upset that she's not the coolest new person, so she don't like Wendy. It's a lie, y'all. Now, Ashley and Candace, is that jealousy? Let that be my question. Do Ashley and Candace, are the root of their like not getting along because they're jealous of one another? Is Candace jealous that her white man is richer than hers? 
No. Is she jealous that she can have kids and she can't? Because, you know, they, they kind of had the same origin story. <laughs> Their villain story had the same origin story, right? They were both pageant girls. They're both very small and petite. They both have white men. Like, is there is there an issue rooted in jealousy? Let me know in the comments. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Again, it's been your girl Rizzo of From Rizzo with Love. Thank you for catching me on this season seven, episode 14 of The Real Housewives of Potomac. And make sure you answer and sound off in these comments. I can't wait to see you guys next week. And please always remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. Bye, guys.